Hey, what's going on? Today we're talking about L Media Player, one of the most famous video players for Mac OS and some of its awesome and useful subtitle features. In this video, I will demonstrate some of my favorite functionalities as well as my personal customization choices. So as an international, you can imagine that subtitles are important for me and my family and L Media Player is the ultimate video player that doesn't disappoint in that regard. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we want to watch Doctor Strange, one of my favorite movies. If the movie is in MKV format, I have no concerns at all because in all cases where there are embedded subtitles, L Media Player can recognize and identify the encoding instantly. Just FYI, subtitle formats like .srt, .ssa and .ass are amongst the files that L Media can easily work with as well as many others. If we are talking about a different video format, however, my usual practice throughout the years has always been to open a few popular subtitle sites and start searching for the right match. Although cumbersome, in many cases the process has been my go-to procedure for years. What happens though, if I want to follow my old established practice but for an entire TV show season? I might have to take some time off work. <laughs> Not really. At least not with El Media Player. The app supports online subtitle search, allowing you to add subtitles on the fly thanks to the player's alignment with opensubtitles.org. I can easily find and add appropriate subtitles to any of my files, saving me tons of valuable time. Best of all, this process works in the background as soon as I open the video file in El Media Player. In order for me to see the available subtitles, all I have to do is go to subtitles download from opensubtitles.org and select the subtitle that I'm looking for. The integration is seamless and takes little to no time. If I want to be more thorough and step my subtitles game up, in the preferences window under the subtitles tab, I can specify and modify the auto download function of the player. Yes, El Media Player can auto download subtitles for you. How cool is that? Interestingly enough, the player's default action is to examine the subtitles by their hash value, which is information taken from the video file itself, alongside the size of the file, which in combination is cross-referenced with opensubtitles.org. In case there aren't any subtitles accessible, the player will perform a search based on the name of the file. By the way, all this happens in a matter of seconds automatically for you. Also, I can choose the language that I prefer. I wish I spoke Spanish. At this point, I'm ready to watch. Me being me, however, I want to customize my subtitle experience for even better appearance. By the way, subtitles delay is another L Media Player feature. This affects the timing of when the subtitles will be displayed. Positive values result in subtitles being displayed later, negative as you can expect earlier. This process is very useful when having to fix out of sync problems. Back to appearance though. I can change the font and background of the subtitles, as well as the size and their color. This all can be done in El Media Player's preferences under the Appearance tab. I prefer slightly grey subtitles on a close to a black background. I find it easier on the eyes at night and when watching content on a dimmer screen a lot more forgiving on the already tired eyesight. So write me what video player do you use and why does it appeal to you? If you have any questions or concerns, Please leave your comments below and I'll do my best to get back to all of you. And don't forget to share this video and your thoughts about it on social media. Thanks for watching.